Uh, Florida State, NC State, 7.30 p.m. Eastern start time. NC State's minus 10 at home, totals 59. The Florida State Seminoles are plus 280 for some money line cash. The Knolls are on a two-game losing streak. They lost to Pitt by the final of 41-17 this past week. They also gave up 48 to Louisville the week before that. The Knolls have given up 159 total points in their last four outings, basically 40 points a game they gave up during that stretch. The Knolls are winless on the road this season, just 1-2 and two against the spread in those three road contests. They're giving up over 280 yards a game on the ground when they travel. Eight yards per play they're giving up from the line of scrimmage away from home as well. Meanwhile, offensively, FSU's throwing for less than 200 yards a game when they travel. Just 17 points a game they've averaged uh, in their road contests as well. Florida State's thrown for just six intercept. I'm sorry, uh, let's try that again. Florida State's thrown for just six touchdowns in seven games, along with 11 interceptions and 25 uh, total sacks. Florida State's leading wide receiver, Tamarion, uh, Tamarion Harry, Tamarion Terry, is averaging just 41 yards a game receiving. And he's caught just one touchdown pass, but keep this in mind. Terry services will not be available for Saturday night. He like left the team or something. So even their best receiver was like, I'm out of here. But uh, anyway, NC State on the other side has successfully covered the point spread in four out of their last five. Marquee covers over the likes of Miami, Duke, Virginia, and Pitt. The Wolfpacks, a perfect 3-0 and against the number at home. And they average 39 points a game at Carter-Finley Stadium. Zonovan Knight is averaging nearly six yards a carry, along with four rushing TDs. Meanwhile, Ricky Person Jr. is averaging five yards a carry himself, along with three rushing touchdowns as well. Meanwhile, on the other side of the ball, as bad as this NC State defense has been, they still amass 21 sacks on the season, three sacks a game this aggressive pass rush is averaging. Daniel Joseph has four sacks on the season, 17 total tackles for Joseph. And linebacker Peyton Wilson has 65 total tackles on the year, one and a half sacks and two interceptions. NC State successfully covered the number in their last seven straight meetings hosting the Seminoles. Now, total-wise, when it comes to the num- uh, number in this one, the Wolfpack's last two straight got over the posted total. 6-1 uh, and one to the over so far for the entire season. Lots of overs for these guys. Meanwhile, Florida State's last two games got over the line themselves. Five and one to the over in their last six. So with all that said and done, give me the NC State Wolfpack minus 10 and the over 59 in that game. Still find it funny that Florida State's best receiver uh, is no longer a participant on the team. So that's just how bad it's going for the, the, the Knowles there. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon if you guys decide to get a package here today. Just keep in mind, we'll bill you the day you sign up and then the first of every month following that. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Thursday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage.